do we really need a second part of why do we need gas yes we do hi my name is akash you are watching auto rage and this is auto rage explain where i tell you basic technologies used in automobiles so that you can understand your vehicle better now if you want to watch this video in hindi click right here or on the link in the description bar below now i expect that you have already seen the first part of this video if you haven't then link to that video is in the description bar below and yes it is important to watch that one first because you won't be able to understand this one clearly in previous video we understood why do we need gas but from what i'm going to tell you in this video it is going to be extremely helpful for you to understand automatic and manual transmission the gear ratios i told you in previous video were in whole numbers like 2 is to 1 3 is to 1 but in real world these ratios are not usually in whole numbers i'm going to tell you that with an example of scorpio scorpio is manufactured by an indian company known as mahindra the 2018 mahindra scorpio which had 2179 cc mhox crd engine has gear ratio of 3.77 for the first gear which means that the gear which gets power directly from the engine will have to rotate 3.77 times to rotate the driven gear once when first gear is engaged in previous videos we understood that gear ratios change the output rpm and torque if we need more torque then rpm will be low and if we need more rpm then torque will reduce let us assume that the scorpio engine is running at 2000 rpm because scorpio produces maximum torque of 280 newton meter when the engine is running from 1800 rpm to 2800 rpm now we'll use gears to manipulate this torque and rpm this animation is for simplification since the engine is giving 280 newton meters of torque which gets multiplied by 3.77 in first gear we get output torque of about 1057.5 newton meter and at the same time rpm will reduce by 3.77 times so basically transmission case was getting rpm of 2000 rpm from engine but after engaging first gear the output rpm of transmission case will be 529.5 look i understand that this is a bit complicated to understand but trust me i'm going to make you understand this in a very simple way here at the top the torque is coming from the engine is written and along with every gear the gear ratios and output torque is written the gear ratios for second gear is 2.21 third gear 1.42 fourth gear has gear ratio of 1 is to 1 and fifth gear has gear ratio of 0.79 the gear ratio for reverse gear is 3.55 so in first gear we are getting more output torque and low rpm which you can experience in your vehicle when you put your vehicle in first gear that you can climb up steep hills but at the same time you cannot speed up your vehicle to the speed of 100 km per hour and that is why in next gear torque is reduced and rpm increases in third gear rpm increases even more and torque further reduces in first three gears driver gear is rotating faster than driven gear this is known as underdrive in fourth gear you can see that driven gear is rotating at the speed of driver gear because gear ratio is of 1 is to 1 this is known as direct drive In fifth gear, driver gear is rotating slower than driven gear because gear ratio is less than one. This is known as overdrive. So basically, in top gear, you can see that the output torque is even less than what you are getting. So torque is even less than what engine is providing, and that is why no matter how hard you try, you cannot move your vehicle from standstill in top gear. Talking about reverse gear, it has gear ratio of 3.55, which means that after driver gear rotates 3.55 times, the driven gear will rotate once. So torque is 3.55 times more and RPM is reduced by the same number. Anyways, we don't need high speed in reverse gear, or do we? And if you are thinking what is that third gear doing in reverse gear, then just ignore it. We will understand it when we learn about manual transmissions. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's not over yet. In first, second, third, fourth, fifth and reverse gear, you saw the gear ratios of transmission case or gearbox. But these are not overall gear ratios. I mean that the output RPM and torque the gearbox is giving does not mean that the wheels are getting same rpm and torque here comes the differential which not only distributes the torque individually to both the wheels but also gives additional gear ratios and usually it gives out one set gear ratio so out of transmission case we are getting gear ratio of 3.77 in first gear with output torque of 1057.5 newton meter the gear ratio of differential of scorpio is 4.3 so the final output torque will be 4.3 times of 1057.5 which is 4547.5 newton meters and this is the reason why off roading vehicles have high and low options so that we can further manipulate torque and rpm 
so that the vehicle can climb tough terrain also. So the same engine can give you astonishing torque figures by setting the right gear ratio. And if you measure the performance of your vehicle solely on the basis of torque and power figures, then you're not entirely correct. And yes, to an extent, torque and power play a huge role in your vehicle's performance. But like gear ratios, there can be a lot of other things which can be used to manipulate your vehicle's performance. Based on these concepts, we'll understand manual and automatic transmission. We tried our best to make you understand these concepts in a simple way. What do you think about our efforts? Comment below and let us know. Is there a topic in your mind which you want us to cover? Let us know by commenting below with hashtag explain or connect us through Facebook or Instagram and DM us over there. Like, comment and subscribe, it keeps us motivated. We help a lot of people who are confused on which car should they buy. If you are also confused on which car should you buy, drop us a message on this number via WhatsApp and we'll try our best to help you out. Even if we fail to help you, what's the harm in asking? Bye-bye.